Hey, Mr. Warrior. You gonna help me do this video? Are you a puppet up? Okay, sit. 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 Silly dog. <laughs> anyway, guys. Today I just thought I'd do an update and show you guys what I've been doing to work towards self-reliance. This is one of the projects in the works. This is going to be a really elaborate rabbit hutch. And right now this is about as far as we've got. We're going to put a corrugated roof on it. We are going to put a rain collection system on it. It's going to have a lot of things to it. Looking pretty good. Got all the supports in, we've got the base in. It's made out of hardwood birch. It's going to be separated for five rabbits and it's going to have a run to it. So it's going to be pretty cool. And I'm going to do a separate video on this. I'll show you guys step by step what I did. I've been recording it since the beginning. Anyway, let's move on to other stuff. I weeded out the raspberry patch. It's looking pretty good. We've been getting a lot of boiling raspberries off of this. Really tasty, really sweet. Way better than most I've had. And we're going to have another harvest here coming here soon. You can see all those. It's like that all over every plant. The blueberries I planted are doing pretty good. This is the Chippewa. And of course we change the pH in the dirt to make it work for these. These are the strawberries I planted in the middle. And then these are the Patriot blueberries. We should be getting some blueberries off these here pretty soon. A lot of these sprout during the spring, but so far it looks like I'm gonna get them a little later on. The so black raspberry is doing pretty good. I can't wait to get stuff off of this later in the season. You can see how much this has sprouted up. I'm probably gonna put something here so it won't fall over. Probably tie it up. And hopefully this will spread, because I only have one of these so far. We did plant two more trees, even though you can't really tell. Here there's gonna be a plum tree. And over here is a transplanted plum tree. Not doing too well yet. We took out the peach tree. It was pretty much dead. There was no hope for it. It may have come back next spring, but I didn't want to wait. These are my sunset roses. They're doing pretty good. We've had a lot of flowers off these all season long. The cherry tree, it did excellent this year. Then I went on vacation. And the birds ate almost every cherry. Actually, here's one that they missed. And it's going to be mine. They're really sweet. This is a valley cherry. Oh, it's really good. The gooseberries do excellent. Been eating berries off this all year long. That one's just about ready. The current, we already got the whole um, berry bunches off of it. So we ate all those. It's looking good though. I hope it's like twice as big next year. So we'll wait and see. Alright, let's do another garden update. It's looking pretty good. We got a lot of weeds coming in. But we also pulled a lot. You can see we put it in another water tank to water it. This has 275 gallons in it as well. We painted it a lot more thickly. And the lines are a lot better as far as where the numbers are. 275 gallon tank by the way. This is the chard we left outside the garden because it was getting eaten by earwigs, believe it or not. So we just put them out here because there was a lot and we didn't want them to spread to the inside of the garden. Let me open up the gate here. Let's walk in. Over here we have some more spinach. We already pulled up some. We've been eating it and some of them went to seed so we didn't want that. The cucumbers here on the side are doing pretty good. We're hoping they'll climb up the fence and look pretty good. And keep producing. We've got some basil here to keep away bugs. A lot of tomatoes. There's our two zucchini plants. And we also had a couple volunteers over here. You can see more tomatoes, more tomatoes. Most of these are types of cherry tomatoes. We've got a ton of them. Over here we have some chive. 
This is garlic chive. Tastes like there's garlic in it, but it's just a chive. Over here, some cilantro that's going to seed. Some more cilantro that's going to seed. More tomatoes. Back here, we have a buffalo berry in the background, but it's being covered by grapes. These are really hardy grapes. They grow here in Montana. I forget the type they are, specifically anyway. But you can see, they're already getting some bunches on them. And by the fall, we'll have a bunch of little purple grapes around. Got some more cucumbers here. Actually got a ton of cucumbers in between the weeds. Got a couple volunteer tomatoes here and there. We did not plant those. They sprouted up. Getting a lot of good cucumbers here. We haven't picked any, but they'll be coming here in less than a month. Let me show you the corn from this angle. We got the sweet buns and the silver queen. It's all sprouting up almost at different lengths. But we should get a lot. We ended up planting a bunch together and all of them have started coming up. So usually one takes over and you're left with one, but this time we got a ton off each one. So that's really lucky of us. And see we do need to weed this little area we haven't got to it yet but it'll get done let's move over by our chilies and our composter more cucumbers more cucumbers we've got some chilies here some jalapenos serranos poblanos and they're producing slowly let's see this one right here Hopefully by the end of the summer we have a lot. You can really tell the difference where we've weeded and where we haven't. And we'll catch up on that as we go. Everyone just got back from vacation. Let me show you inside the compost. I've got to cover my mouth, it's always full of bugs. I can unscrew it here. Oh yeah. I keep filling this thing up and it keeps going all the way down. We have been having sort of a slug problem so we buried some beer cans. And I could actually see a few in there that have died. So very awesome. Well, let me move over where the other plants are. Everything seems to be doing good this year. Oh, these vertical planters, one didn't work out at all for us. Just kind of sucked it up. Both died. The chocolate mint plant is doing excellent. It's just sprouting up and looking good. These tomatoes are doing awesome. If you watch the last garden update, you'll notice that we moved the buckets. And it was just to get them away from the fence so we could trim it. Then we'll move them back and forth accordingly. This tomato plant's holding on. Looking kind of dry though. And we did put a spinach up here. I believe this one's the raspberry spinach. I'm not sure. And you can see the rest of the corn. This is our volunteer plum tree. It spread it up a good three feet this season. I was going to transplant it at the beginning of the season and just didn't have time. So for now, this is where it's staying. Our water tanks are looking good. Here's one of the others. It isn't bowing or anything. I'm going to do a water purity test here in about a month. And I'll get that on camera. 
I got a load of wood I have to cut up and split and stack before the snow starts. So that'll be fun here to get done in about a month. You see, those are some thick pieces. Artichoke trees seem to be doing pretty well. You can see most of them have leaves on them, especially the bigger ones. So we're hoping by next year we'll have a lot of choke trees to come off of it, but we'll wait and see. I want them to spread. We had about a week of over 100 degree heat and it kind of killed off a lot of my fall gold raspberries. Hopefully they'll come back, but right now they're looking pretty bad. And the strawberries are as well that I have planted back here. But by next year they'll come back up, hopefully. I love how this water tank turned out. It was the first one I did. No cracking on the paint. Nothing on its bowing. And it's been filled up for a good three months now. Three or four months. It's got the split on it. And this area is kind of up on my property. So we can actually water the garden from here if you wanted. It has enough gravity to do that. And you guys haven't seen this before, but it's the ultimate bug out vehicle. Which I'm going to do a video on. Manpower. Who needs horsepower? Looks great. And see, it's really just a pedal car. Here's one of the other big projects we're undertaking. We're going to try to make a hunting trailer slash bug out trailer. Something we can take up to the mountains for a week or so and live comfortably. Or, if need be, take it someplace else in the event of emergency. But it's a big project that needs a lot of work. And it's going to take weeks and weeks to finish. So I'll wait and see how that turns out. So anyway guys, this is just an update video to show you what I have going on. Rate, comment, subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys later. Right, Warrior? Right? Right? Sit. Shake. <laughs> shake. You gotta shake. <laughs> there you go.